Why does another coach earn more than me? If this is the one thought that crosses your mind more often, then this video is for you. Now, every business is unique. And so every online coach needs to find strategies that work for their business because what works for one business may not work for another. So in this video, I will run you through the habits of highly successful coaches and how they do it. First, successful coaches set clear goals. Successful coaches don't just shoot blindly in the air. Instead, they carefully choose how to spend their time and what they want to achieve from the activities they get involved with. This means looking at what and to whom they want to coach. They also invest a lot of time and research into finding their ideal target audience, mapping that audience's likes and dislikes, and also which social platforms this audience hangs out at. Then they spend time measuring who all are trying to learn something in that domain or other similar domains. And these activities and time spent are all based on those preset goals and results that they want to achieve. This makes sure they leave no opportunity to reach out to their potential customers. That's why they focus on content marketing. Every piece of content they deliver or lend their face to, whether it's a Facebook post or a simple tweet, the idea is to drive maximum traffic to their landing pages and get most people to engage with that content. Plus every content piece has a call to action attached to it. This CTA could be to download an ebook, watch a webinar or buy a paid course or coaching program. By focusing on CTAs, they drive maximum traffic to their site and get maximum sales. So if I look at strategies used by some of the most successful online coaches, you would notice that they offer multiple coaching products, not just one. Why sell only once to your audience when you can sell again and again and again? And that's exactly what the most successful coaches do. They don't just launch one product or course, they encash every opportunity to sell more digital products to their current clients. This allows them to increase their income without additional advertising costs to find new clients. Plus people also appreciate getting variety and multiple options to choose from. This helps such coaches and trainers to upsell their higher price products and courses faster. Number four is they never chase or hard sell to their audience. Instead, they share so much value content upfront for free that people love to stick around and learn more from them. This happens because they build a deep understanding of what their target audience's core pain points are and build their coaching models around those super useful topics that address these pain points. Their content machinery creates content that is well researched based on what is working right now and what the audience is looking for. Even their landing pages are thoughtfully designed and have a really good copy. This is why some of the most highly successful coaches are hardly seen pushing people to buy. It's always addressed as a solution to the pain points that their audience is going through and how their solution has worked for others. Plus they build large communities. Communities are a gold mine for sales. They bring together like-minded people and help them achieve a goal for not just one, but hundreds and thousands at a time. Communities offer their audience a platform to engage with others, to create and share their insights and valuable inputs around a subject or a topic. Building a highly engaged community gives coaches a ready to access database of thousands and millions of users who are actually potential customers. So if you can help one user solve his problem with your mentorship, he's definitely going to talk about the benefits to many others. And that word of mouth publicity will further drive your community's growth like a ripple effect. Don't neglect organic content marketing. Ads are great for growing a business 10x, but they're expensive. So for long term growth, coaches need to lower their costs to acquire new customers. And this is why lead generating content that gets found organically on the internet is a crucial strategy. So how do successful coaches build their organic content machinery? They repurpose content as much as possible. For example, blogs are turned into interesting videos and eBooks. Live webinars are recorded and repurposed. 
then relevant content pieces are extracted and posted on multiple social media platforms. So this really simplifies the effort of creating content in bulk. So from just one content piece, they're able to extract 10, 20, even 30 pieces of smaller content pieces. That means no need to create separate content for a tweet, Insta Reel or LinkedIn. And it is doable. Smart coaches are already doing it. They persist in what they choose to do. Building a business takes time and effort. And there are no shortcuts. There are no get rich quick schemes here. What differentiates a successful coach from others is their commitment to building a great product and improving it along the way. They constantly look at where the gaps are, what can be done better and what more can be done to grow their business. Because they understand it's not a 2020 match, but a test series. So if you want to become a success, you need to be prepared to put in the time and effort to build a successful online coaching business. They become great entrepreneurs. What do I mean by that? Coaches are on a mission to empower their learners and to create an impact in their lives. But an entrepreneur is always laser focused on one thing and that is growing their business profitably. Because ultimately, the only thing that matters is how you get better sales and marketing numbers this month versus last month or the last quarter. And that's why you also need to learn to be both. For that, they follow checklists and test everything a lot, right? From which audience will they coach to which funnels they'll create and how to get more customers. How many webinars and workshops to conduct to reach their monthly sales goals? Would a course bundle sell better or a challenge workshop? Which ad design works better and which ad copy gets lower ad costs? Everything. They plan, experiment and test every detail minutely and constantly improve on what they learn. They build checklists to ensure all actions are completed on time. In fact, they revisit those checklists to ensure all actions necessary for success are being implemented. Last but not least, the highest successful coaches benchmark against the best. A common pattern among successful coaches is that they look up to the best. They work on their skill sets and get better at what they are good at. For achieving excellence, they get inspired and follow the examples of the best. So they keep their eyes and minds open for collaborations and learn new strategies and trends from the who's who in the industry. All said and done, the most important thing to take from this video is that if you want to become successful as an online coach, you need to constantly look at what you can do better in your business to grow it and reach out to a larger audience. Every step in this video points to that. Because ultimately, the one thing that successful coaches do most is that they spend 80% of their time on improving their marketing and sales and the rest 20% building content or coaching. And that is the real key to success.